Hey everybody, this is Mr. Kleiss coming at you live from his house. Say, so I want to give just a quick mini lesson here today on our four quadrant graphing grid. Uh, this should look pretty familiar to you. We've worked with this in class. Just a reminder here that when we deal with our four quadrants, we have to remember which side positive and which sides are negative. So the first thing we have to remember is this horizontal line right here is known as our X axis and it's kind of like a number line in the fact that we start with a zero right here and we go to the right and these are all positive numbers to the right of zero and it could go on and on and on I'm gonna stop at five to the left of zero, we're going to go into negative numbers in this quadrant right here. And again, I'm going to stop at negative five, but I could keep going. So it's like a number line along your X axis. Our vertical axis is known as our Y axis. And it's kind of like a thermometer, really, in the fact that if we start here at zero and we go up, it's going to be our positive numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And if we go below the zero, we get into our negative numbers. Again, negative two negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5 along the y-axis. Now all of these quadrants have names to them. We're going to start over here at quadrant 1. Now we have an ordered pair. This is what's called an ordered pair. I'll say an ordered pair of 2, 4. The first number in our ordered pair tells us where we want to go on the x-axis. It's a 2. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go along the x-axis until I hit 2. The second number tells us that we want to go along the y-axis to 4. So I'm going to go along the x-axis to 2 and up the y-axis to 4. And that would be my graphing point right here. Important to remember that anything in the first quadrant is going to have a positive x and a positive y. Two positive numbers, you know your graphing point is going to be in the first quadrant. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, over here, this is known as quadrant 2. Quadrant 2 is going to have what we call a negative positive ordered pair. For example, negative 3 comma 5. Okay, so again, my first point is a negative 3, so I have to go along the x-axis to a negative 3 and up to a positive 5. That would be negative 3 positive 5. So anything in the second quadrant, negative x, positive y. Then we move down here to quadrant number 3. I'm going to erase that. I'm going to move that down here. This is quadrant 3. Quadrant 3 is going to have what we call a negative, negative ordered pair. For example, a negative 2, negative 3. Okay, so my first uh, number in my ordered pair is along my x-axis, negative 2, and then down to a negative 3. So that's where my graphing point would be there. A negative x, a negative y. To our last quadrant, quadrant number four. 
this is going to have what we call a positive negative okay which means my x number will be a positive I'll say 4 and my y number will be a negative and I'll call that a 4 negative 4 okay so 4 along my x-axis down my y-axis to a negative 4 and there is my graphing point for that so ordered pairs in our fourth quadrant is a positive negative now that's kind of easy to remember because They're kind of opposites. Quadrant one is positive, positive. Kitty corner is a negative, negative. Quadrant two is a negative, positive. Quadrant four is a positive, negative. So it's just the opposite of the diagonal. And that is a quick reintroduction a quick review of what we've done in class. So, hey, have a good night, have a good day whenever you're watching this, and we'll see you next time you're in class.